Next, we're going to discuss and highlight how to weight grades in your gradebook. So particularly for my secondary student friends and teachers, here we go. So you're going to go to that Actions tab and back to Gradebook. Remember under the Gradebook tab, we have four different tabs. You have individual scores, the assignments, and the categories. And we talked earlier about how it was important to choose your categories, especially if you're going to weight your grades. So now we're going to go under the Assignments tab. And we're going to click on the bottom where you see these blue um, tabs or these blue links that you can click on. And we are going to look at the fourth quarter and the second semester and how we're going to weight those grades. You're going to go to the Select button up at the top to select what are the different types of categories of assignments you're going to allow in your gradebook. Remember, if you're picking these categories of assignments to be weighted in your gradebook, you need to be picking these and only these when putting grades in the gradebook when you're picking what kind of assignments you do. Once you are here in your formula and I've picked the different categories of assignments I have, you're going to weight them. I give 20% to labs, 1% to participation, 19 to formatives, and our summatives are 60. So this must add up to 100. So over here in percentages, these add up to 100%. So that means labs are worth 20% of the grade, participation is worth 1%, formatives 19 and summative 60. And so what you can do is you can put in those percentages, make sure they add up to 100, and click Save. You will have to go back and do this for each of your classes. So you'll go back to the Home button each time, and you'll go to the next class in line, click Gradebook, click on Assignments, and go back and weight those averages for each and every. If you've weighted them correctly in this section here, you're going to see it says average of, you can see lab 20%, pers uh, participation 1%, and I can see how those weight grades will be weighted in the gradebook. So that is how you weight your grades.